This is Nancy, although her friends call her Nugget. Nancy is a female bolus spider. There are roughly 60 species of bolus spider in the family Araneidae, and she is in the species Orgarius magnificus, or the magnificent spider. It's a bit much if you ask me. Nancy is technically an orb weaver spider, like this one. And by technically, I mean that Nancy could give a silken sh** what other orb weaver spiders do. She can make rope with her butt, and what she chooses to do with that butt rope is nobody's business. Nancy enjoys the taste of moth. Mothus, though, can often escape the glue on orb webs because their wings are covered by tiny modified hairs that can come off easily, like the feathers of a live chicken might if you tried to bite one for a good time. Instead of a web, Nancy makes a bolus, a kind of a sticky ball. But this isn't some ordinary drip loogie you might dangle over your squirming, pinned-down younger sibling. This comes from her butt. These boluses, sometimes referred to as snot yo-yos by me, are beautifully constructed. They are liquidy and elastic enough to soak through the moth's powdery scales, but strong enough to hold on in a struggle. To attract the mothus, Nancy emits a chemical cocktail that resembles the pheromones that female moths give off when they are ready to mate. Chemical mimicry and common sense. If you want to catch a chicken, smell like a horny chicken. If you want to catch me, smell like Doritos in a nap. Using vibration-sensitive hairs on her legs called trichobothria, Nancy can feel the approach of the horny male mothus with their tiny erections. And just then, she... <laughs> not, not all species twirl their bolus like they just caught their first Mardi Gras beads from the float, though. Nancy's cousin Ellen in the genus Mastophora lets it dangle. But either way... The moth is f***ed. Once caught, a quick bite from venomous fangs immobilized the moth, who is just beginning to realize he is on a very shitty date. Nancy then makes the moth a nice pair of silk pajamas from her butt, which is perhaps the most comfortable, horrible way to die in the animal kingdom. The hunt is over and Nancy packs it up for the evening, reeling in her bolus and ingesting it. Kind of like eating a booger that came from your butt. It's been a long night for Nancy's cousin Ellen, too. And as day breaks, she looks like shit. Literally. She disguises herself as bird poop. She even mimics the splatter, which is genius because very few things are actively looking for bird poop. Except, as it turns out, those tiny little male bolus spiders, which are very excited to find a female, especially after chatting up a piece of pigeon shit for two hours, which is embarrassing. For comparison's sake, I found some stock footage entitled Bird Poop on a Table, <laughs> and I keep thinking of the videographer going to his mother's house with the check, saying, see, I told you someone would want this. In any case, if you don't want to make the same old web as everyone else, that's a metaphor. Don't be afraid to use your head and your butt to do it your way. That is how the bolus spider do. Achoo! Mom, you didn't tell me you had wieners. Actually, Mom, bring me your heart medicine and an orange. Strike that. Half a magic orange. We're gonna be rich. <laughs>